Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And yes, there's a balloon sitting there, and if I remember to use it, that would be amazing. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. I have beautiful leftovers, and I am thinking that I would like to use them. So, I'm going to start with a base layer. Quite a bit of paint, it looks like, maybe. Too much, I'm thinking. So I guess we'll find out in a second how much is too much. I'm going to use my torch to pop the bubbles and I don't think that's too much. I think I'm going to be able to pour my paint. I might want an edge catcher. I might want my tweezers to pull that thing out I can see over there. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula. Best paint spreading tool around. Those are lots of little things in my paint. It's time for a new can of paint, I think. Time to go to Wally World. Put my mask on. Okay, so I like these colors very much, but I'm thinking that I would like to have them be even more interesting than they are already. So I'm going to do that. That I have unplugged twice now. Come out. This is that was a purple that I made from dioxazine purple with iridescent pearl fine in it from golden. That um, that hot pink is was originally a um, folk art neon pink that was matte and it has some unicorn spit in there. I could be sorry I'm doing this. Oh no, I might be okay. So let's put some black down because I never, I never start that way. And then grab my Princeton Art Tool spatula. See what comes. This reminds me of that mid-century modern piece I did recently. Let's just continue our, our dribble because any paint that's left is going to have to go on the Lola Fee silicone mat for skins. But I have beautiful paint. Okay, I'm probably done. I don't really need to do anything to this. I could leave it like it is. What should we do? We should at least tip. <laughs> it's probably going to be a waste because this is beautiful. That's going in the bucket. I'm done with that. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'll take a straw. I've got chain too. I've got a nice long straw like the ones on my Amazon link. I also have an airbrush. I've got some really nice patterns. I might just like to keep doing what I'm doing actually. I think what I did last time was use my little spatula. I'm really glad I put that black down. I'm kind of loving what's, what's happening. Because everywhere I agitate the paint, of course, then it wants to maybe sell. Just a little more. I'm just picking to blow into some of the voids. 
not completely eradicate the negative space. Make something kind of kind of cool and leafy. Maybe a skewer. I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'll play with a skewer for the moment. I'll play with one that's not quite as warped as that one is though. Let's be super gentle and add a few spirals. Just because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath the link tree. Right above my email address where if you're interested in purchasing an artwork, all you need is the hashtag from the title of the video. And the initiative to try and call me. It's the absolute best way that you guys can help support the production of videos from the studio. I love that the white is heavy because what that means is I can drag it into what I've got for paint and then out again. I don't know if that makes any sense. From the white paint into something else. I still want to play with the airbrush but I think it's super dangerous because I really like what I've got, and I think I'm going to go ahead and take my torch, but not that much happens usually when I haven't tilted because the paint really needs to be spread out by tilting to, to agitate it enough to make cells, but we'll give it a try anyway. I like that little waggle I just got. I don't know how many more of them I want. I could just fill in with some dots and be pretty happy with that. I see some of the paint is sort of disappearing. It's sinking away. But what's left is pretty cool. So maybe I can add a few gold dots if the paint bottle is open. Oh, I like it when it's... Yes, when it's almost closed but it's still allowing a dot out. That's the perfect time. I think the gold and the orange. We'll just call this part of the MCM series, the mid-century modern. Not that it's really exactly like that, but it's sort of like that. I have some somewhere, yes, I have some purple flash and it needs, I need more. But it's in the same exact condition that the gold one was. The gold bottle let me have just a drop or two of paint. I kind of almost think that I would love to have some Prussian blue, but I also think I'm kind of done. So I have over 1,700 videos. Should you be interested in finding some more of them, they are on my YouTube channel under playlists, all playlists, created playlists. If you need a link and you've seen something you like but you don't know how to access it, I'm your girl. Just ask me. I'll help you out. I've got them all organized and stashed and bookmarked and everything else. So I'm going to throw a few more things in the bucket and call it good for today. Even though that's not super complicated, I am going to torch it and we might get some cells. I love the black background. Yeah, we've got some nice little cells. Not a lot, but a little. I can see that right in the middle of a t-shirt. Might even find a way to put that all over leggings if I was very clever. So if you watch the videos longer, you help me out. When you share them, you help me out. I appreciate your thumbs up. If you like the videos and you give me a thumbs up, it helps me out also. If you would like to be a contributor to help keep the studio rolling and making more videos, you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes for the drawing on the exhibition video on the end screen. So all videos and PayPal and Patreon icons are on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right hand corner. And the link is also right on right under the link tree. There's some critters in here. <laughs> I just saw one. It was sort of grinchy. A little strange. I want to, I want to annihilate that. It's got two eyes and it's looking at me. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> so as long as that paint is wet, I can still spiral a few things out. Except for that bamboo skewer has a, one of those little tiny filaments on the end from the bamboo. 
So I am. I'm just still taking advantage of the fact that you're here and I'm here and I'm having a good time with you. So what else should I tell you? I have um, under the link tree, I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for shopping pixels.com and Fine Art America, that way, via the shop now button, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Yeah, you need to get right in there. I wonder why I can't get that to... I'm going to go down even further, can I? Yeah, check that out. There's a lot of happy stuff happening in there. I completely lost my train of thought what I was talking about. But I do love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. If you're new, please be welcome. Thank you for the wonderful comments that keep me my morale boosted. And thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. And look for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links under the link tree. And also my website and Sachi Art and probably a few other things I'm forgetting about. If you have questions, please feel free, free to ask. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, that happens. I told you about the videos. Community board has tomorrow's video and Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery does too. Uh, my paint pouring recipe, that's what I was trying to tell you, is underneath the, vi underneath the video, under the description, you have to open show more. And when you open show, show more, you'll see my email address too. And uh, check out all the exhibition videos because all of those paintings or a good part of them are for sale and all that's required to get in touch with me is my email address and the hashtag with the number in the title. So I love you guys dearly and thank you for being here and uh, putting up with me not doing anything fancy with this, just having some fun and dribbling my heart out. <laughs> I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery saying I will see you anon. Season's greetings if you're getting this in the season. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>